All right, people, today I'm working on this old uh, 1999, uh, what is this again, Isuzu Rodeo. And I'm just replacing the radio because it has a old, old school that works with a cassette deck. Uh, so I'm just going to be replacing this with a double den. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how, what I'm doing here. I'm replacing it with this radio here, which is a double den touch screen with navigation, backup camera, and stuff like that. I'm not going to hook everything up, like the backup camera. And here is the radio. I paid 50 bucks for it. It doesn't have CD or anything. It's just straight linked to your phone. And you can have your backup camera, your navigation. Nobody really uses CD anymore, so I didn't really see the need for it. So, for the price, 50 bucks. I don't think I can go wrong. So, there goes my radio. All right. Hope it's uh, 50 bucks is not uh, gone there without one fall. But you have to be careful when you're buying cheap stuff. But uh, it's pretty, I think it'll be all right. Well, let me just show you guys what I did so far. Uh, first thing I had to do was remove this trim panel, which I just yanked on it and it came right out. And it has these four clips so you can even use your pry tool and just pry it off. After you get up, then you have to remove your positive and negative on your cigarette lighter just pop them off pull them out this is this is like one of the basic simplest radio connection I can um, you can do I bought the uh, the radio harness here you can get it online off of eBay or uh, Amazon anyone you want or even have them in AutoZone Walmart you know you can get them there so basically you pl plugs right in and it has all the wire there this is the antenna on this plug here we have the speaker wires we have one two the white is another channel green is a channel gray is a channel and purple is a channel when you get to the black is a ground As a matter of fact the black and the gray goes together so you got one two three four four channels right here for your speakers and on the other connector here, which I use as tape for everything, I'm going old school on this one. Pretty fast connection, pretty fast uh, setup on this one here. I'm not really charging to do this, so I'm just uh, doing a little quick thing here. People have been using black tape, electrical tape for the longest, so it's been working, and I don't see why not using it. So we have the red power wire. Uh, we have the which works with the ignition we have the constant um the the orange which is the illumination of the radio uh which also works with the ignition and we have the yellow for the constant power which is connected and brown i mean ground which is the black and the remote there is a remote wire so i connected it we have three wire i'm not using which most likely is for the gps speed signal and stuff like that and uh i will see if i need it in the future most likely these are there is not no other wires to connect it to so i'm just gonna leave those out for now maybe that's i can add in something later for that if i want which i'm not most likely not going to but uh i will leave it off for now i'll cut them cut the ends off so it doesn't have any contact with anything when it's in the dash so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug up this radio and try it out, see how it works. So give me a second while I do this here. I don't, you know, I do all my videos myself and I try to do everything with my one hand and I will be getting a tripod soon. I think it's necessary to make my videos a little better. But uh, just give me one second and then we just plug up these two plugs here to the back here. It has a 10 amp fuse and the two plugs go right there. So give me one minute, one second. I have a one plug. And here is the other plug. Here we go. 
Uh, it's all plugged up. We have a output here. We have video out. One, two, we have right out and left out. Those are RCAs. Cam in for the backup camera and stuff like that. And antenna, I will put the antenna in now. And that should be about it for this radio to be able to work. So, there we go. We do have a hole here for the GPS, but uh, it looks like it's just blank. That's usually for the speed sensor, which this radio doesn't have. So, here we go. We'll try it out. I'm gonna put the brackets in later, but for now, let me just see how it works. If it comes on like it's supposed to. All right. Ignition is on, and there we go. The radio is powered up. Oh, we got some sound here. I will try it. Let me see. Yeah, seems like it's working. Not bad setup. The radio looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. It has the automatic. Mode. Everything is touchscreen, even the volume. So. Not bad, people, for a $50 radio upgrade in your car. It's pretty damn good. And uh, yeah, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for some more other videos that can help you save some money. All right, people.